11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engines running, lift off. Launch trajectory nominal. Going into space. Restart pulse. But what if it kills him? Just do it. Welcome back, pilot. Mission Control Munich here. I am the mission flight director. We had a <coughs> communication blackout for longer than anticipated. Pilot, your vital signs were critical. We were fearing the worst. Malfunction detected. It looks like the electric power unit is damaged. No problem. Pilot, if you can hear us, hit <clears throat> the electric power unit with your wrench. Everything no looks problem. back to nominal. Pilot, do you copy? Pilot, can you hear us? Reporting radio damage. Pilot, push the button on the radio. Confirming, the radio is fried. Damn. It looks like we have only one way of communication. We'll have to work okay. with that. Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Draining all the gas Munich, from the atmosphere continue. quickly. We would like to remind you that we are on a collaborative mission to the ISS. Got a little leak. That's are fine. you sure the pilot hasn't blacked out? Affirmative, Houston. We can see the data. The pilot is conscious. No oxygen, so pilot fill the continue. atmosphere with oxygen. We will be tracking okay. your progress and providing yeah. support. Yeah. We yeah. hope you didn't crack your head. Too much oxygen. Vital signs are nominal. Munich. Moscow here. We would like to remind you this is a collaborative mission. Very much. It's good. Moscow, you really don't need to repeat what we just said. Pilot is fine. Our reading shows a spaceship is as good as new. It was built by the brightest minds of our nation. Moscow, since you mentioned that this is a collaborative mission, we have the same reading. Houston, then why are you asking if the pilot has blacked out? Moscow, we have to make 100% sure that the pilot is conscious. What if he did crack his head? Houston, but you just received confirmation from our artificial intelligence that the vital signs are nominal. Moscow, better triple than double check. Houston, but we all just triple checked. It is not that pilot is a space monkey who can push only one button. Moscow, seriously, do you train your monkeys to push only one button? Gentlemen, remember this is a collaborative mission. Everything. Yeah, I suppose we'll do a little tour of the ship. Please <clears throat> do not occupy the frequency. So on this side we have. Copy that, Munich. CO2 Copy levels, God. pressure. Oxygen. Mission control here. The CO2 level to gets too high. Space it's station. toxic and we Start die. So we just got to keep watch on our CO2 filters. We have spare on ones here. Computer. And we can also bring spent ones over here. Just pull this lever and we can use them again. If there's any leaks, we have patches over here. We can patch the leaks. This knob will let all the gas out. If 
Many levels are too high. Oxygen level, if it's too low, we suffocate. If it's too high, oxygen's explosive, right? So if we had too much oxygen in the atmosphere and there was a spark, the whole cabin would explode. And then, even if these levels are okay, if the pressure's too low, pressure's directly proportional to temperature. So it'd get too cold in here, we would freeze to death. So you just want all these levels in the green. This whole side is all just uh, atmospheric stuff. On this side we have the power. So having these on controls how much power we're putting into the battery, that would be our output. Right now we're charging the battery because our output is <clears throat> higher than our load. If this were to go to 100%, uh, one of these fuses would probably blow and that would cause something else to malfunction. So if that were to happen, we can switch back and forth between two different power buses to get power back right away while we change the fuses. If one of the fuses is gone, we have spare here. If the battery were to go to zero, like it's discharging now because our output Pilot is lower than the load, the the uh, power would go out, but it's not a big deal because we could just flip one of these on and the battery would start charging again. So that's just everything we have to watch. Right now we are looking to target the ISS, because that's where we're going. Target acquired. Proceed to proximity approach procedure. Switch that on. So the premise of this little mission here, it's um, the last few hours before midnight, 1999. Now for everyone, our mission is to reestablish yeah, control while I'm of the International Space Station. We are on the clock here. Oh, she's going to tell if us. If we fail, we will lose the ISS. So the ISS is not in a stable Mission orbit. Control. If you were to leave we it alone by itself, it'll fall back into the atmosphere. The so it has to the ISS in the first do periodic little burns to keep it above the atmosphere. Correct. We will perform a flight And you know they're worried when the clock rolls over to midnight answer. and it's the year 2000. The computer won't be able to calculate when it's supposed to do its burns. So... Unit. We have little software updates, sure and we're just going to bring it there ourselves. So what we'll we're going to do is... Pilot, the approach of the new millennium will generate what we call the U2K bus. Just locate... Oh, see, she's saying everything else. Saying. Houston here. Our analysis shows that all computer systems might fail ISS after is over there. We need to apply a system update to secure okay. the ISS against it. So we're 16 we kilometers away from the, the ISS, the ISS before midnight, or it will burn but we're moving relative atmosphere. to the ISS. So what we want to do is kill our, all our relative velocity to the ISS, the that way we can just drift to it. Of the station is lost. Master alarm, what's Time wrong is now? Our enemy. Do Switch Y2K additional cell. Battery's no low, no problem. Pilot, do you copy that? See, when these numbers are the same, yes. nothing charges. So Space I'm going to turn off the heat exchanger. And now see a battery will charge quite quickly now. Everyone remember, failure Let's kill our relative is not velocity. An option. Any mistake may lead to irreversible course, mayhem. Good. We need Let's to go this way. Let's get to work. Godspeed to you all. Okay. Horse is good. Mission control. Copy. Mission control. Oh, okay. Switch the force to low. And just tweak it a little bit. It'll drift around because we're in orbit, so this is never going to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Now what we want to do is just haul ass in the direction of the ISS. That's quite fast. So now we just wait, keep an eye on everything. Oxygen's low. Let's get that higher. Come on. Come on. Too high. Let the air out. And we'll close it right here. CO2's great. CO2 filter's half good. Pressure's good. All right. Keep an eye on our distance real quick. We're getting quite close, so I'm going to slow down a bit. That's good. 
We have to watch this primarily now, just making sure our battery doesn't overcharge. So we'll turn that off. Oh, we can see it now. Alright, so we're getting there. Once we get within 2,000 meters, I'm going to eliminate my drift again. Let's get a little faster. Because we're accelerating, but we already have velocity, so it's not going to be perfect if we have a drift. You can see even though we have velocity, the distance isn't going down, and it's because of our drift velocity. We're not headed in exactly the right direction, so let's kill this to low. Translation, good. Oops. Kill this. Horizontal, good. Kind of do both at the same time, if we can manage it. Good, 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 good. Perfect. And start all ass again. We can turn this to, we can keep it on high for now. We're still two kilometers away. All right, now we're getting really close. Mission control here. Spaceship is now in proximity of the International Space Station. Switch to uh, well, low engine power and just mosey on. The ISS sustained unspecified damage. We lost remote control of the station. It has been knocked That's already off quite fast. Pilot, your mission goal is to yeah, perform a me to slow down. and to localize damage of the ISS. We will assess the next steps from there. <clears throat> Battery's good. Moscow. Everything's good. Our reading indicates that damage has occurred in the Destiny module. Houston here. The Destiny module can be identified as I want to slow right down to a halt now because I want to recharge the CO2 filter. And if you're moving, you really don't want to get it distracted when you're close to something. Get ready to engage. Let's just put this in here. Crank it. Turn this bus up. Do we need more power to do this? Okay, brand new fresh CO2 filter. CO2 went up a little bit, but it's fine. Let's turn this down. And, uh, yeah, okay. So we just want to go real slow. Let's go over to the left. The Destiny module is attached to the Unity module in the center. And uh, we'll sneak over here. In real life, you would never go this fast, this close. That's fine. And pull. And let's see what we can see. What they're going to want me to do is just look for something outside of the space station that doesn't look quite right. So let's just take a peek around. So when you're doing maneuvers like this, you're not actually using the spaceship engines, you're using reaction control system thrusters. Those are just little jets all around the spaceship with uh, gas. They let out little bursts of gas so you can maneuver your spaceship however you want without using your main engines. So the main engines are quite strong. Find the destiny module with the scanner gun. Is it that one? No? Over there? Great. We've got it. Yeah. Now approach the module. Okay, let's mosey on over. Pilot. Remember to keep Station. a safe distance. Houston, please. Pilot knows what he's doing. There we go. We shouldn't hit anything now. As long as he's keeping the distance. Pilot, Kay. you will need to visually inspect the exterior of the module. If you see something odd, scan it with the scanner gun. If you're going to be rotating, you don't want to have any kind of velocity. Because then you're going to be facing this way and you're going to be drifting this way and it can be a big headache if you're moving in all sorts of different ways. 
we're going to the side of the earth now, which is kind of a pain in the ass because we won't be able to see what we're looking at. But that's orbit. I mean, what are you going to do? Okay, let's go faster than that. There we go. Okay, what are we looking for? See sparks up there, so that's probably where we want to go. Pilot, use the scanner gun to analyze parts of the space station. You know what? I'm gonna face this way and I'm gonna go into the docking area so I have a little more control. How's everything? Battery power good, CO2 good, oxygen. We need a little more oxygen so this isn't a problem later. Buy ourselves some time to do what we need to do. Okay. Okay. Totally lost now as to where I'm at. Let's go just move around. Okay. This is uncomfortably close if you were gonna be in a spaceship and like not know where you are. Uh, just roll a little bit. Good. And the reason I came up here is so I can uh just move vertically up like that. Make everything real nice and easy. Way too close. But that's fine. Slow down. Pilot, use the scanner gun to analyze parts of the space station. Nice. And I'm actually gonna let's move back a little bit. Okay. Scanner gun. Anomaly detected. We see some strange data here. Moscow here. We confirm anomalous data. It suggests there might be an electric discharge. Probably Everything occurring looks good. on the surface of the module. Houston, are we missing something? Well, hard to tell. There was supposed to be an antenna there. Houston. Antenna is broken, just like the radio you installed in the spaceship. What more errors might we expect? Moscow, none. Everything else works just fine, as you surely can check in the readings. Yes, yes, we normally check. There are these handy little stickers double. everywhere. That's for so, sure. like, if you're using a tool, for example, you let it go. You don't want it to be doing that while you're not paying attention. So there's just little stickers everywhere, so you can just go like that. Just keep everything organized. Put that back where it goes. Okay, we're docking now. Let's uh, take a peek. Copy mission control. ISS configured for capture. Where does it want us to go? Pilot, use the scanning gun to locate the docking hatch. Docking it. That one there. Boop. Pilot, okay. Pilot, maneuver the spaceship to the docking corridor in front of the scan Hey, hatch. sun's out. Hey, we're already real close. That beep is nothing to worry about. Okay, let's translate ourselves down. Moving way too fast. This gets tricky here. What I'm gonna do is Pilot, move the ship to the docking corridor from the See if I can hatch. kill all our velocity in every direction. Because if you're moving in all sorts of different things, canceling your velocity can be really hard. So right now let's go to rotate and let's roll ourselves. So we're just in the right orientation. Oh, I'm completely upside down. So let's just... Uh, Go low, a little more precision. That's pretty good. Okay, moving down now. Let's 
See, if I were to just not do anything, we would continue drifting in this direction at this speed. Because when you're in space, there's nothing to stop you from moving, right? So. Okay, I don't want to slow down now. Speed up a little bit. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We could fine tune that later. Let's go, ahead and go this way. Just crank it. Seven meters to go. Half a meter per second. And let's start slowing down here. I'm actually starting to get paranoid about our life support. Battery fuse is gonna blow. Okay, that could have been bad. I mean, we wouldn't have died, but I'm glad I saw that. Okay, let's get back up here. All the gas looks good. 62 meters away. In real life, this whole thing would happen painfully slowly. Is unlocked. Yeah, getting to it. Secure the red box. Mission control, we are receiving information about an unsecured red box in the spaceship cabin. Red box. This thing? Mission control here. Please repeat. It's no big deal, just what put it there. Sheesh. Uh, a red box seems to be flying around the cabin. That is impossible. Data shows uh, it is. There is no red box on board. I don't understand. When I get to about 10, we'll fine tune Houston some of this here. stuff. We confirm. Our readings show the same. Killer velocity. Moscow also confirms that information. Oh, battery's drained. But there no problem. never was a box no installed there. Yeah, According yeah. To the AI, there is one now. Oh. Yes, I can see that now. But again, we never installed a red box in there. Mission okay, battery starting. We're fine. We have no idea where that might have come. Get the oxygen out. Definitely not from us. Okay, not that much up. Moscow. Come on. We are not responsible for interior decorations. Broken radios, missing antennas, flying red boxes. Definitely not our style of work. Come on. What are you trying to say, Moscow? Let me grip it. If there we, we would have installed a red box, it would be locked and safe for sure. Do you mean that we installed a red box that we don't know about? Why would we do that? Houston, honestly, I don't know why you do things you don't know. But that reminds me of a similar situation. Like in 1961, Moscow, you are crossing a thin red line here. That wasn't our work back then, and you know that. Well, it wasn't ours either. So here we go again. Okay, we have nav ball malfunction. Just give it the Moscow. old. Houston, who put the red okay. box in there? And what the hell is it? Power's at 10. Nothing. Charging nothing. slow. Absolutely nothing. Definitely not us. Okay, let's try this again. There is still an unknown uh, red box flying around. Perfect. 
Yes, we all can read the messages. Sorry, mission control. We can't always take responsibility for what is read. Perfect. Well, someone has to. That Enough. beeping is just we'll that happens when you dock. Later. That's nothing to worry about. Can we please move forward? Time can kill us. Battery slowly charging. Good. The CO2 Let's filter's not going to be good right soon. Whatever, Moscow. Copy mission. But that's control. not going to kill us, so we're not worried about it. Let's go. Houston, as well we can go a third Copy. of a meter per second. Copy. Seems good. Bit. Fifth of a meter per second. Even more now. Tenth of a meter per second. Ten centimeters per second is quite slow. Flip the switch. Mating lock when we're ready. Boom. Capture confirmed. Menu we're dog. control deactivated. See, this is about to die. Mission control. Free drift initiated. Contracting tracking probe. Let's crank Docking this up. Docking interface looks closure. Charge this. Hard mate confirmed. Command, we confirm successful mating. Mission control, we confirm docking successful. Okay. We copy. Congratulations, everyone. Welcome to the International Space CO2 Station. CO2 didn't even go out of the We're green. We're on time, but our mission isn't over yet. Stay focused. Leave focus. the oxygen away. Well, let's change it. Post docking link check is underway. Pilot, please move to the front of the oh, space every in time, order bro. to prepare the system update procedure. Houston here. Pilot, we need you to use the front computer and load the system update program on the yellow disk. Moscow here. The program we agreed to load is on a red floppy disk. Okay, so we're about done. Mission control. They're just going to pick red over which again. the American software, the red software, who cares. Thank you, mission control. 20. I could turn off some lights. Whatever. Pilot, we advise you to use the yellow floppy disk. Pilot, please stand by. What the hell, guys? This is ridiculous. Mm. Why mm. do we have two system updates? And that's it. That's the mission. Mm. For Fun game.